You saw it in their home, the water. It was the major factor during this lingering storm, of course. Hard to wrap one's mind around it, but let's try. A total of one trillion gallons of water fell across Harris County over that four-day period. According to Harris County's Office of Homeland Security and Emergency Management, that is enough water to fill the Astrodome 3,200 times, and it could cover Harris County's 1,777 square miles with an average of 33.7 inches of water. Water, of course, the main worry for folks living along the Attics and Barker Reservoirs. Tonight, our Robert Arnold is live in the Heathwood subdivision, a neighborhood that flooded after the release of those dams. Robert, one year later, family still watching those reservoirs closely. They are because for those living near Barker and Attics, they flooded either from water pushing into their neighborhoods or from water being released from the reservoirs into Buffalo Bayou. And for the people in these neighborhoods, their recovery is far from complete. It's a long process. We're kind of tired of doing it all the time. Melissa and David Klutzbuescher's road to home has been long. I cried every day I came into the neighborhood after work to, to come and work on my house for a couple of hours and go out to Katy where we were staying. We we're a family five split into three different homes. Flood repairs on the inside of their home are 80% complete. Their Bear Creek Village house is a stone's throw from the Attic's Reservoir. This neighborhood was largely underwater from Harvey's staggering amounts of rain inundating reservoirs and eventually pushing into neighborhoods. When you drive through the back part of the neighborhood, it's very depressing. Many of the homes closer to attics are not nearly complete. Some businesses along Clay Road remain closed but vow to return. I just wish there was more people that used to live here coming back. And there's a lot of people that decided they're done. Then we evacuated to the hotel. Catherine Clark estimates. Then we went to an apartment. Her family and belongings moved seven times over the past year. I actually went to the doctor and got anti-anxiety medication early on, <laughs> which is kind of cheating, probably. The family only recently moved back into the first floor of their house, but has no furniture yet. It feels really good to be back home, and it's also exhausting. Their home is in the Heathwood subdivision near Briar Forest. That's along Buffalo Bayou and downstream from the reservoirs. They escaped flooding during Harvey's rains, but flooded after water was released from the reservoirs into the bayou. This house was built in 79, and that neighbor has been in this neighborhood since 1980, and she said there has never been a house in here that's flooded. Homes in this neighborhood are like many throughout the Houston area in various stages of repair. Almost everyone we spoke to was happy to see the passage of the recent flood bond and are hopeful it signals a new age of flood control. But if it happens again, I'm gone. Several people are suing the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers, which operates and maintains those dams. Now, since Harvey, the Corps has been working to repair and upgrade several features in Attics and Barker to alleviate future flooding concerns. Reporting live from West Houston, Robert Arnold, KPRC, Channel 2 News.